Hi guys, so I got my new item from Fashion File and um, I'm gonna unbox it. The box is really light, so I'm hoping that I have a purse in there. <laughs> so silly for me to say, but I've gotten items from UPS and the box has been taped back up and it looks like there's something in it and it's not, but I think I'm good but it does feel really light. So it came in a box like this, and as you can see, it has the warning tape on it. I'm not gonna show you the top of the box because the top of the box has my um, work address on it. <clears throat> so no one needs to know where I work. So I'm gonna open it like so. my little trusty plastic knife um, and if you don't know what fashion file is it is a, a place that you can buy pre-loved um, also brand new items at a, I want to say discount but it's not always a discount some things because they're um, limited edition type um, handbags or small luxury goods. They are sometimes a little bit more pricey than um, if you would buy them from the actual website of say Louis Vuitton or Gucci, but they're priced higher because it's limited edition. And if you really want it, then most people will pay the extra money. But anyway, I love Fashion File. Um, I buy from them quite often. This item is in excellent condition. And um, yeah, so without further ado, I'm gonna open the box. And as you can see, it has fashion file on it. And it comes like this. This is just my receipt, basically, here. Tissue paper. Here's the item here. And it comes, they always send like a free fingernail file. And then, of course, their box. Which I thought was pretty, pretty cute. All right. So here's the item. And it says here uses the new, new. And it came in a fashion file dust bag. And like I said, this item was listed as in excellent condition. And from the pictures of it on the website, I believe it is. This item I paid, I'll get to that in a minute, but it was reasonable. So this is the item. It is the Gucci Stars handbag. Um, I wanna say it's called the Boston. So let me look at my my receipt because I never can think remember the names of handbags. So this is called the Gucci Supreme Stars Medium Joy Boston in pink. So I don't see. I don't know if you can tell. I'm gonna get real close here so you can get a good look at it. So it is definitely in excellent condition. Um, the tag here, you can't, you, you, you're not supposed to remove these until you know you want the bag. If you remove these off, then they won't, you can't return it. Um, this particular bag I paid $8.75 for. And for whatever 
reason, I thought that I wasn't paying taxes. And I said in my last video that I wanted to avoid the tax, but I do pay tax. Um, so the the bag total with taxes was $879.80, which is still a decent price um, for a handbag that looks barely used. Looks like it was not used at all. Um, and when you open it up, of course they put the bubble wrap in it to kind of help help it keep it shaped. Which I'll reuse because I like to keep my handbags with um, bubble wrap in it as well. So, and it's just one giant hole with a pocket. So, as you can see, so it's just one large hole. Um, is what I typically call them. And what I normally do when I have handbags like this, I just drop my organizer down in it. So like for instance, my Goyard here and inside of it, I have an organizer. So I would just literally take this out and I will dump it in here like this. So I just would basically slide it in here and it fits right in. So the only thing about, um, and it kind of reminds me of kind of like my, um, my Louis Vuitton um, Speedy. I don't like sagginess. Um, but once I like put all my stuff in it, it won't be in this type of bag. You would just carry in the crook of your arm like so. So yeah, so I think it's a cute bag. I think it was totally worth what I paid for it. I don't know what the, the actual retail price of this bag would be. Um, if I was to purchase it brand new from Gucci. They don't make this handbag anymore. This is one of their old um, handbags. I don't even know what year, but whoever had this bag, um, they they didn't use it much. And it is, is in, I mean, it's just in really, really pristine, pristine condition. I mean, just, just a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. There's four, just I see a little stitching flyaway like right here but I can cut that off and then as you can see you have the Gucci sign here and the inside is it's clean it's totally clean it's, I, I don't see any stains or anything inside of the bag um, so yeah, I did end up returning the MCM, um, handbag. It was just awkward for me. So the last video that I did with that bag, it, I just, I just couldn't get, it wasn't comfortable on my shoulder. It, it just looked weird and it was just way too structured for me. I do like my handbags to be structured, but I also like them to be comfortable on my shoulder and I just felt like it just was not comfortable. So I did return it. I did lose money by returning it. I wanna say I lost like $60 because what I do, um, I, <coughs> excuse me, I um, lay away um, my bags. Like I don't spend frivolously. And so I don't, um, every now and again, I may do an impulse buy, but for the most part, if I see a handbag that I like, um, out with Fashion File, I'll just put it on reserve. Like you can put it on reserve for 60 days and you just pay it off in 60 days. And so that's typically what I do when I do purchase from them. Um, but I just returned it. And when they credited me back minus my $65, I just went on and um, paid off this this uh, reserve item. So that's what I typically do. I'll just put the item on reserve 
and I'll just pay it off in 60 days and then they'll ship it to me. Um, and I do that quite often. So I would say if you think you can't afford a luxury handbag, you totally can. There's all kinds of ways to buy them. You don't have to get them from Louis Vuitton. You don't have to get them from Gucci. Um, you don't have to get them from Goyard. You can you can totally, totally just lay them away um, and pay them off within that 60 day window time. And you can afford a handbag. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share this new item. And you can visit them on their website, fashionfile.com. And um, you'll see all kinds of beautiful, beautiful handbags and wallets and shoes and sunglasses and rings and bracelets and necklaces and brooches and just everything luxury, um, even pet items, um, agendas, all the things that um, us women love, um, you can find on Fashion File. So I just wanted to share this quickly with you guys. And hopefully, um, you know, you guys will check them out. And again, let me know what you think. I think it's a cute bag. I think I did well. I think it's really cute. And I think I will totally um, get lots of use out of it. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, take care. And I hope you guys are doing well on this Thursday night for me. I don't know when you plan on watching it, but whenever you do, just remember to stay safe, be blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.